Today we'll be talking about Raticate, the only evolution of Radita at level 20, with the Alolan version needing it to be at night. Raticate is also the first final singles evolution Pokemon, and also the first evolution of a regional form. Its past PYC dates are March 17th, 1996, January 6th, 1999, October 27th, 2001, August 17th, 2004, June 8th, 2007, March 29th, 2010, January 17th, 2013, November 8th, 2015, August 29th, 2018, and June 19th, 2021. It's interesting that it goes from purple fur and Radita to tan fur and Radicate. I also think Alolan Radicate is silly looking. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Uh, hello, today we'll be talking about Radicate, the mouse Pokemon 0020. It was Rat before Gen 3. This is Radicate and Alolan Radicate. It's types, it's normal, it's just Radicate. It's Alolan Radicate, it's dark normal. Its abilities are Runaway or Guts, or as uh, Radicate. It's, uh, Alolan Radicate has Gluttony or Hustle. Uh, Radicate's hidden abilities, Hustle. Lolan radicates in abilities thick fat. Gender ratio is 50-50. Catch rate is 127 or 26%. Breeding is uh, egg group field. Hatch time is 15 cycles. Its height across the board is uh, 2 foot 4 or 7.7 7 meters. Its weight is 40.8 pounds or 18.5 kilograms. That says radicate uh, as a lowland radicate. It's 56.2 pounds or 25.5 kilograms. Its base experience yield is 116 in the first four gens. In gen 5 and above, that's 145. Leveling rate is medium fast, EV yield is 2, both in speed, shape is that, footprint is that, Pokedex color is brown, other forms may have other colors, and space friendship is 70. Radicate is a normal type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. It evolves from Radita and starting at level 20. In Alola, Radicate is a dual type dark slash normal regional form. It evolves from Alolan Radita when leveled up at night, starting at level 20. Biology, Radicate is a large rodent like Pokemon, although it is often depicted on hind legs. Uh, it is quadrupedal. Uh, it is primarily tawny colored with a cream underside. It has narrow black eyes, ears with ragged uh, edges and dark insides. It large incisors that grow constantly. There are three whiskers on each side of its face, which it uses to maintain balance. It has short arms with three fingered hands and webbed feet with three toes. The webbing on its feet allows it to swim. It's tail is long and scaly. Females have shorter whiskers. If attacked, Radicate stands up on its hind legs, bears its fangs and shrieks in an intimidating manner at its enemy. It is willing to take on larger foes if provoked enough. Its teeth are strong enough to gnaw through steel, and their constant growth means it often needs to gnaw on something like rocks and logs, may even chew on the walls of houses, and is capable of chewing through cinder blocks and toppling concrete buildings. As shown in Pokemon Sleep, Radicate is known to sleep with a log in its teeth, gnawing at it in the process. This Pokemon typically lives in plains and savannas. Prior to Gen 4, Radicate and its pre-evolved form Radita were the only known Pokemon capable of learning the moves Hyperfang and Superfang forms. Radicate has a regional form, Alolan Radicate. In Alola, Radicate has become heavier and darker due to its urban environment and higher calorie diet. Its fur is mostly black with a brown leaf-shaped patch on its belly and brown inside its ears. Its hands, feet, cheeks, and tail are a whitish cream color, and its hands are much smaller. It has large puffy cheeks with four whiskers under its chin and two sprouting sideways from the top of each cheek. Its large incisors are still visible, but its eyes are now red. This variant uses its nest as a food stockpile and generally prefers to, to have the Alolan Radita. It commands to go out and forage for food while it remains in its nest and eats. Uh, it is selective in what it eats, however, only eating fresh, high-quality foods such as fruits. A rumor has it that a certain high-class restaurant even exploits this selectivity, bringing Radicate along to buy ingredients and letting it taste test new dishes. Each Alolan Radicate has its own territory, and disputes over food and feeding grounds happen frequently. Alolan Radicate and Radita are not native to Alola, having been brought to the region via cargo ships. Their populations grew drastically till Young Goose and Gumshoes were imported as a control measure. A special Alolan Radicate uh, in Alola serves as the totem Pokemon for the Verdant Caverns Island Trial. Evolution, Radicate evolves from Radita, uh, Alolan Radicate evolves from Alolan Radita, so you can see that. Here and here. Game data, Pokedex entries. Gen 1, red and blue. It uses its whiskers to maintain its balance. It apparently slows down if they are cut off. In yellow, its hind feet are webbed. They act as flippers so it can swim in rivers and hunt for prey. Stadium, if attacked, it stands up on its hind legs, bears its fangs, and shrieks in an intimidating manner at its enemy. In Gen 2, gold gnaws on anything with its tough fangs. It can even topple concrete buildings by gnawing on them. Silver, its whiskers help it to maintain balance. Its fangs never stop growing, so it gnaws to pare them down. A crystal, the webs on its hind legs enable it to cross rivers. It 
searches white areas for food. Stadium 2 is gold again. Gen 3, ruby and sapphire. Radicate sturdy fangs grows steadily. To keep them grounded, it does on rocks and logs. It may even chew on the walls of houses. In emerald, it radicates sturdy fangs. Grow steadily to keep them ground down. It gnaws on rocks and logs. It may even chew on the walls of houses. Fire red. Its rear feet have three toes each. They are webbed, enabling it to swim across rivers. Leaf green is uh, red and blue again. Diamond, pearl, and platinum. It whittles its constantly gnawing fangs by gnawing on hard things. It can chew apart cinder balls. Heart gold and soul silver, their gold and silver counterparts. In gen 5, black and white are diamond, pearl, and platinum again. In black 2 and white 2, with its long fangs, this surprisingly violent Pokemon can gnaw away even thick concrete e with ease. X is diamond, pearl, platinum, black, and white. Y is crystal. So, for a mega ruby and alpha sapphire they're their ruby and sapphire counterparts and gen 7 sun its hind feet are webbed so it's a strong swimmer it can cross rivers and sometimes even oceans in moon its disposition is far more violent than its looks would suggest don't let your hand get too close to its face as it could bite your hand clean off uh, in ultra moon people say that it fled from its enemies by using a small webbed hind feet to swim from island to island in Alola. Ultra Moon, its whiskers are essentially essential for maintaining its balance. No matter how friendly you are, it will get angry and bite you if you touch its whiskers. In the Let's Go games, uh, this is just Yellow's entry again for Alolan Raticate. In Sun, it forms a group of Radita, which it, assume, it assumes command of. Each group has its own territory, and disputes over food happen often. In Moon, this gourmet Pokemon is particular about taste and freshness of its food. Restaurants where Radicate live have a good reputation. Ultra Sun, it has an incredibly greedy personality. Its nest is filled with so much food gathered by Radita at its direction, it can't possibly eat it all. Ultra Moon, it commands a nest of Radita. Different nests don't get along, whipping up severe fights over feeding grounds. In the Let's Go games, it makes Radita underlings gather food for it, dining solely on the most nutritious and delicious fare. In Gen 8, a uh, brilliant diamond and shining pearl, or diamond pearl again. His Radicate and Alola Pokedex is Alola, Lolan Radicate and Alola Pokedex. Uh, yep. Here's the game locations. Side game locations. Case. Held items, uh, Radicate, uh, Pokemon, Cotton Gen 1, must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for an old item to appear. So red, blue, and yellow, you get berry, if it gets from fire, red, and leaf green. You get an orange berry 50% of the time, or citrus berry 5% uh, of the time. A diamond, pearl, platinum, heart, gold, soul, silver, black, and white. You get a chillin' berry 5% of the time. For Lolan Radicate, uh, if you transfer from sun, moon, ultra sun, or ultra moon, you get a Pekka berry 5% of the time. Uh, base stats is Radicate, and we'll compare it to a Lolan Radicate here. So HP is 55, it's 75 uh, here. Attack is 81, but it goes down to 71. Defense is 60. Uh, this version is 70. Uh, special attack is 50. That one is 40. Uh, special defense is 70. This one is 80. Uh, speed is 97. That one, that one's 77. So it's 413 both ways, or both of them are have a total of 4, 413. Uh, eradicate uh, this Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 50. Get the Pokathon stats for type effectiveness. Uh, so, damage normally by, uh, this is normal eradicate, uh, normal flying, poison, ground, rock, bug, steel, fire, water, grass, electric, psychic, ice, dragon, dark, and fairy. So, uh, for Lolan, it uh, loses fairy, bug, and psychic. It changes those, those, are di those become different things. Uh, Radicate is weak to fighting for double. Uh, Lolan Radicate is weak to fighting for four, but and Bug and Fairy for double. Um, it's immune to Ghost, both of them are, but uh, Lolan Radicate is now immune to Psychic. Radicate is resistant to nothing, uh, and a Lolan Radicate is resistant to Dark for half. Radicate notes here: uh, if this Pokemon is given a Ring target, the effectiveness of Ghost type moves is one. So it goes from zero to one. For a Lolan Radicate. Uh, if Miracle Eye is used by an opponent for this Pokemon, or this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of Psychic type moves is 1, so it goes from 0 to 1. If this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of Ghost type moves is half, so it goes, goes from 0 to half. If this Pokemon has Thick Fat, the effectiveness of Fire type moves is half, and the effectiveness of Ice moves is also half. Okay, uh, Fire and Ice, yeah, so that's 1 to, to half. Learn Set by leveling up. So we've uh, skipped to 24. 
uh, Crunch, 29. Sucker Punch, 34. Super Fang, 39. Double Edge, and 44. Endeavor. Uh, we're gonna skip the TMs. Uh, by breeding, you know, all these people you get bite. Uh, these guys counter. Uh, these guys final gambit. Uh, these guys flame wheel. These guys fury swipes. Uh, this one uh, last resort. This one revenge. This one reversal. This one screech. This one uproar. Tutoring. Another one prior evolution. So side game data. Let's eradicate. Um, uh, in Pokemon Ranger, eradicate chumps with its sharp fangs. These fangs can rip apart a metal fence. In Shadows of Olmia, it attacks by chomping with its powerful front teeth. So in Pokemon Go, its costume is a party hat. Mm -hmm. For Alolan Raticate, you got all that data. Okay, so uh, evolution data, yeah, you got this again. For Alolan Raticate, uh, in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, Alolan Raticate evolves from Rattata. When leveled up at night, starting at level 20. In Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. There is no time mechanic, so it evolves from Alolan Raditata starting at level 20, regardless of the time on the system clock. Sprites, so you got all these guys, uh, rather, rather, yeah, you got this, not colored yet, obviously, this is green, uh, for some reason, uh, and gold, it's a little better, but not quite, this is actually, honestly, the shiny is actually closer to the eradicate we'd know today, um, so you got all that, uh, then now we've got this proper one, where it appears on all fours, for, I think, Thing. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, then the shiny is now red. Okay. Diamond. Uh, diamond and pearl. So the shiny becomes more orange. Now we got the, f the females, where they're like half as long as the males or something like that. Um, okay. Then I got five. Then now it's model version. So, yeah. Got that. Looks sort of a darker red. Uh, for shiny Alolan Raticate. I got all these and then all that. Uh, yep, this is all this. Okay. Here it is in the anime. We got Raticate in the anime and Alolan Raticate in the anime. Interesting that the whiskers are represented like that. This might be an earlier anime episode. Um, let's take all this. So now we're doing the uh, Pokedex entries uh, in Sun and Moon, Episode 9, for uh, Radita and Radicate uh, in the Rotom Pokedex. Radita and its evolved form Radicate, the most Pokemon, a dark and normal type. When they band together, they steal food from people's homes. Long ago, they came here to the Alolan Islands aboard cargo ships and eventually grew into the Pokemon we see today. The numbers of Radita and Radicate eventually grew so large that Young Goose and Gumshoes were brought in from a different region to chase them off. In what I assume is Journeys, episode 20, on Ash's Rotom phone, uh, this is just about Radicate. Radicate, the mouse Pokemon, and the evolved form of Radita. Radicate can gnaw through anything with its ever-growing teeth. Episode uh, 70 of the same series goes Rotom Phone. Radicate, the mouse Pokemon, a normal type. Radicate is a bit unruly. Its lengthy fangs can bore through thick concrete. Okay, then we got it here in Origins with a Mankey. Uh, then we've got it in Pokemon Generations with a Magnemite and a Muck, I think. Uh, then here's in the manga, then the Alolan Radicate in the manga. Uh, then we got the TCG and the TFG. Okay, so then trivia. Radicate's catch rate was 90 in Gen 1 and 2. This was changed to 127 in Gen 3. Radicate is the only Pokemon that shares its national Pokedex number with the level at which it evolves from its pre-evolved form. Yeah, I already did the, the third point. Of all the totem Pokemon that can be battled in Alola, Totem Radicate is one of the only two totem Pokemon that... Uh, is battled in only one game out of the two versions, in this case, Moon and Ultra Moon. Uh, the other is Totem Gumshoes. During the cutscene before Totem Radicate's battle, it cries out Gumshoes' cry instead of its own cry. Huh. Interesting. We did this last one as well. Uh, origin. Uh, Radicate appears to be based on a rat, as well as a semi-aquatic rodent, such as a muskrat or a... A uh, koipu, uh, due to its large size and webbed feet. Its scruffy ears are similar to a guinea pig. Uh, Alolan Radicate appears to be based on the black rat, brown rat, or Polynesian rat, all of which are invasive species in Hawaii. Their attacks on sugarcane fields uh, caused the locals to import the small Indian mongoose to Hawaii as a form of pest 
control, explaining the relationship between a young goose slash gumshoes and Radata slash Radicate. Its gluttonous behavior, ability to command groups of Radata to steal in hostile relationships with uh, the detective-inspired gumshoes, are reminiscent of a stereotypical crime boss. It has cheek pouches similar to a chipmunk and hamsters. Name origin, uh, Radicate may be a combination of rat and eradicate to destroy or exterminate and, or masticate to chew. Rata, uh, I guess that's its name in Japanese, uh, may be derived from rato, meaning rat. Here it is in other languages. Here's the related articles, references, external links. Here are all the Alolan forms. Uh, yep, that's everything. Uh, let's move on. Let's see Radicate's first scene in the anime. Hello, and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Uh, today we are watching episode 15. Uh, Battle of St. Anne. Uh, in this episode, Ash and his team, consisting of Brock and Misty, two Pokemon gym leaders, and, um, Pikachu, won tickets, uh, aboard the St. Anne, a luxury cruise line, and now they're in the main area, there's a bunch of Pokemon trainers here, um, he, Ash, uh, just saw a couple, um, trainers talking about their, uh, Charmanders and Squirtle, so he's just gonna comment on that. There are much better than theirs are. All right, bring them all. Mm -hmm. So now here we see Eradicate battling a Starmie. Star you? No, it's fine. Yep, and that's it. Uh, yep, Eradicate is just one. Uh, and that yeah, that's it for the section. Uh, bye. Let's see why people love Eradicate. Let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section. Nobody sent in fan art, so instead we're doing deviant art fan art. So if you're not familiar with how this works, what we do is we go through these until we uh, reach an image that doesn't have a radicate. This is uh, Radicate Mirrored by Tamborella. We did this yesterday. This was uh, the only image we did for Radada, but we'll look at it again here. So we got a radicate in the middle, uh, some Radada in the background, then on the flip side we've got a Lolan uh, radicate with a Lolan Radada in the background, and this is kind of more realistic style, I guess. I didn't really mention that yesterday. Then we've got uh, Eradicate number 020 by Kutsuku. Uh, and this, you know, got this kind of cool, partially stylized, you know, it's kind of in a pose, like a fighting pose, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Then we've got uh, 020 Eradicate uh, by Pink Bunny. Almost looks like Chibi Eradicate uh, here. Or like a, like it might be seen on like like a sticker or something, you know. We've got zero twenty eradicate by Stephen Andrew. Uh, apparently, they have or had a tumbler. Uh, you can find that there. Um, I guess it's it's eating a, a berry here, so that's that's cool. Um, uh, we've got zero twenty eradicate by Moo Feeler. I'm dedicated to you. So that's a cute looking like almost like a a Valentine's Day card or something, you know. Uh, it's, it's cute. Then this is not Eradicate, uh, so we'll move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. Tonight at 9pm CMT, Central Mountain Time, I'll be evolving Radada into Eradicate in Pokemon Blue. As for Lolan Radicate, I'll have to wait until I've talked about the Gen 7 Pokemon before I get back to that one. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Spiro. As always, this isn't my proper outfit and you'll see me tomorrow.